That's a, isn't that like a, I don't know what that is. That's a hold open shock. Yeah. But he engineered a Taking your word for thingy it. on the bottom of it. So he just popped this end on up there and it makes a perfect little table leg. And so why don't you just leave it on? Because it's too long. Oh, and chop off the other end or something? Well, just leave it on because it can fold under. No, I guess it can't. can't. It can't. It wouldn't fold that far. Uh-uh. Seems kind of strange. Yep, that's the problem. It's just a few inches too long. And the way it's hooked up, it's hooked up there so you can't use that door. Well, exactly. So I'd like it if it would lay down and then it wouldn't be in the way. You're so handy, man. I mean, that's man. just vinyl. But it's uh huh. Around a piece of very hard wood, like heavy wood. I wouldn't be. Uh, I don't, as smooth as that is, I bet it's just a melamine shelf. <laughs> Probably. Do you want to keep this design? Well, not especially if you can come up with a better one. Man, that's heavy duty. Yeah, it, I think it works. I think he probably engineered it. Yeah, I would think being able to use that door would be yeah. quite advantageous. Yes, I really want to be able to use that door. Yeah, so it needs to be about as long as where it can swing up. So you want to be able to open and close it while the door is closed, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'll have, to, I'll have to pencil that later. Okay. That that I have a question about that um, so my question is that thingy uh, down here that inverter thingy yeah. what is that called is that An the inverter. inverter okay I thought I was calling it by the right thing is it on right now is solar working and how would I tell You're asking me. so I, I think I have it turned on solar power right now and up here, this little thing's blinking. Okay, so this is on. Okay, so there's two. There's yes, and I don't know what the difference is. Why in the hell he put an 8,000 watt in here? Because you're never going to be able to power an 8,000 watt. I think they thought they could probably power this AC, but they then soon realized that he, they said it would drain the solar batteries in just a few minutes. How would you tell if the solar's even working? I would hope somewhere that the solar has controller. Well, I guess that's what this is. And it's blinking. What, what is where? Up there. It says Renergy. Yeah. So when I'm plugged into shore power, that blinking green light turns solid. Other than that, there's no difference ever. I'd have to look and see what the controls in that controller were. Okay. But those size cables, man, those are big hauling batteries. Yeah. Those are 845s. So with the size cable, you push more than about 2,000 watts out of that. going to start melting battery cables. Okay. Okay. Power, I mean, this is, we're into physical laws now. Power, or P equals E times I. Power equals volts times amps. Right. You've told me this story before. So, 8,000 watts, if you are only inputting 12 volts into it, what times 12 equals 8,000? 
what about 650 675 right. okay so i don't understand you the... can't pull 600 amps through this little cable for well you can but not for very long so the power comes from those batteries yes. into that inverter yes and then that inverter inverts it into 120 volts ac okay so what's this thing for that controller up there yeah your solar panel is probably not putting out 12 volts, no. so it can't put it on directly. Okay. So you have to convert whatever the solar panel is putting out into voltage the battery can use, and you have to limit the current available, or you have issues again. All right, so the bottom line is any bigger battery cables? No. Oh.